I've escaped to Maxie's bedroom. Um, this is fairly chaotic in the living room and I usually do these things last thing at night but Thomas is wanting to crack on with this so I've tried to find somewhere for a bit of peace and um, you see his tractor Ted bed there. I'm sitting in a chair that I can barely get my butt into, but I'm, <laughs> I have somehow managed with my gin and tonic bouncing on my lap. Um, and a spot on my nose, which is all great. Um, anyway, we went to Osby yesterday. Um, this is trying to be a diary, so as well as some sort of training tips or help along the way it is of what we're doing um osby was our first event for elite riders and it was great to to get out and no matter how much you train um there comes a point that you just need a party you need somewhere to go to to just see where you're at and get on with it there comes a time that you can train so much and overthink things and overanalyze things and it wasn't two days before we went that I think we were giving them a jump and I was barking at Thomas because I didn't think I was riding well enough or is it going well enough or is it straight enough or this and that and I think he was just quietly thinking the sooner you can get to an event and shut up and get on with it the better so um and it was um like that but they were they were great they all went really well i think five double clears and um good dressages they was they were sweet they were excited enough um we haven't had the outings you know to prepare for a season like we normally do but we're all in the same boat so you just have to get on with it um and i felt pretty rusty to be honest of galloping um going a bit faster across an open field to a solid jump um plenty of moments that i'm sort of <laughs> set sail to something and <laughs> quickly change my mind and think that that's probably not a, a good idea so you know it's just i think we all are at that stage of the year that that you need to get going you need to get back into it and it's it's just realizing that and not being too hard on yourself that it's not um exactly how you want it but the i got better as each round went along in myself in my own mind um and finished the day feeling like that was good fun and look forward to the next event but it's just great to get out of the blocks and get going if I talk briefly about each individual horse, um, Veneer Kamira was number one. Um, she was very excited to be at a party. Um, she held it together for her dressage, but having rung the owner at the end, she was like, she must have been amazing. I was like, she was off a rocker. Um, there weren't many in a white lather having started trotting around for five minutes in the dressage warm up because it was pretty cold that day. Um, but inwardly she was um, buzzing and so I just felt like we sort of just got through the dressage without really asking anything or wanting to make it a big deal but um, she was she just held it together um, to jump a double clear um, she didn't feel very pleasant to be honest <laughs> as I say to Trevor um, her owner um, She's a wonderful little horse and she has my utmost respect and everything. But at OI level, she doesn't give any feel. We we like to sort of go quite quick and hurdle. and um, But all the more reason to love her just the much more to be as brilliant as she is around those big, scary places. So, um, But it's work in progress. She has to have the outing. She has to get her muscles going. She has to get her, her brain in gear and, and do something and... Osby's a, a great place to start. I'm very much a creature of habit and most years I have always started at Islam as, you know, my schooling place to just get out and get the cobwebs away and then Osby is the first place to go to to start giving the horses, a decent horses, a good spin because the going there is amazing. 
as well. So, and it really was, I think we'd all agree that it was definitely worth the trip for anyone and a, and a super, super place to get them started. Um, so that was great for her. Sportsful Top Notch, um, a horse that we actually own was in really good form. Um, he was hot enough to get on the grass and get going. Um, and keen enough cross country. He was really buzzy in the start box. Um, sort of got quite on his toes and which he doesn't normally do. So, um, you know, they're just keen to get out and get going. Um, so very pleased with him. He didn't have a speedy run either. Um, just to, you know, keep the ride on him. You know, if they get very hot, they don't need to learn to gallop fast every time. And he's been a very simple horse, so he could just, you know, get in a lesser rhythm. Um, and then Brookfield Innocent, who was very settled for his dressage and absolutely beautiful. He did, he did do a really nice test, um, and got a 19 point something, which was very exciting um don't often get in the teens so that was exciting and then um was pretty frisky in the show jumping warm-up so i had to sit pretty tight um he can make me look and feel a bit of a knob at times <laughs> as, he, as he likes to make some moves and he, do you know what he is a wonderful horse he's He's an absolutely fabulous horse, but he will keep me on my toes because he is such a spooky bugger. And it's, you know, I have to really work with his spooks and his quirks. And the beginning of the year, he needs the outings. He's not had loads and, you know, he's jibby in the jumping. He's still a great horse and his quality and his class will carry him through all his quirks. Um, but, um, <laughs> yeah, we duck and dive a little bit. And the same on the cross country, he finds it all super easy but he loves to spook a, a change of color of the grass or anything really a jump judge car or a camera or there were some red and blue mushrooms that were nicely painted um just on the run down to a hedge fence that were caused me a fair bit of grief um i think he's 11 12 years old and as brilliant as he is but he does find things, find things, and they jump out. There's lots of dragons, obviously, and everything. So, um, not as smooth as as I'd like, or but he keeps me on my toes. You know, I put him on a pedestal because he's a brilliant horse, but he takes some work to get to get to where you know the good events, and the more he runs, the better he gets. So, um, he went round, just cruised round. He's a really fast horse, very naturally. So, just cruising round. He had six time faults, but he's he's a wonderful horse, and it was just great to get him out and going. Um, his stable mate Brookfield Quality was on good form. Um, just jumped really well. The ground got a little bit tacky in the show jumping at, 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 in places, and he is a horse that needs confidence for the show jumping. So I was delighted with how he kept his jump and felt very confident this early in the season as well not being used to being in the mud and on grass and all the rest of it so I was really pleased there he picked up a placing and I didn't really go out today with thinking this day that any of them needed to win wanted to win had to win um, it was all about just getting them going I never rode the clock once to think I want to win this class or anything it was more of what um stage the horse is at what suits the horse's temperament for its for this stage of the season and how he or she needed to run for the future it's not all about winning osb oi and you know with those horses especially and so winning for the more was a bonus and from burner lancer I was delighted with, to be honest, he is, he's a beautiful horse. doesn't take Einstein to figure that out. He's very attractive and a very striking, lovely moving, big jumping, scopy horse. And um, I've had him for a year and last year he didn't have a lot of pressure on him at all and it was a great year to get to know him. He's wintered really well. He's a stronger, stronger horse that we feel the partnership is really there. So come together. So I'm excited about him for this year and he gave me a great ride cross country. I don't know whether I'd, I'd got more into the groove and got a bit better as we went along or 
or he um he was just on really good form but um he deserved his red rosette that day he felt he felt fab so I was really pleased really pleased with him he he came out very professional and got on with his job so so that was our day um an early start you know Ames alarm alarm clock goes off at quarter to three for us to leave at quarter past four we get back at seven half seven treated everyone to a Chinese um Indian actually once we got home and but I know there's a lot of people that had a much earlier start but it's it's back into it and you're actually quite excited for an early alarm clock when we've been so long without it so um it's just nice to be back out and doing I I will go on about preparing for the season for people because I think there's lots that could be really interesting of what I do the day before an event, what Ames does and the whole girls on the yard, the team do the day before an event and preparing and likewise at the event following behind the scenes and those sorts of things. I think there's lots that we can hopefully share with you and also preparing for events mentally our mindset towards competing, our mindset towards, you know, training um, and taking our bubbles and what we train for at home, taking that to our competitions um, is a very big, big thing that I've worked on and a very big, big thing that I think can really help as a focus and and a focus really for people to who struggle with nerves or or you know just to have a plan for competing the best we can and keeping everything the same for our horses as we do at home and do when we get out i never i never think to myself i'm going out to win i just think to myself i want to take my training to the competition and try to get the very best out of my horse all day and if it's good enough to win then that's great and that's my biggest mindset policy obviously for the main ones we want to try and go there as be as good and competitive as we can but definitely for all the one day events it's very much I take my training to the show and look at the scoreboard at the end but anyway lots to lots to go on about or try and help or share with or whatever so um i'm sure there's a few video clips of them in action at osby but just great to be out and pleased with my ponies I had a good run on great ground and came out of it really well so onwards and upwards off we go let's kick on everyone